You've been asking for it for a long time, and today you'll finally get what you've been waiting for. Nope, it won't be the Blockbuster's revival, but it will be an extremely valuable video on how to make a subscription button for your YouTube channel. For those who are interested in this topic, we've also included a little gift, so watch closely. My name's Daria, and you're watching the Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. And let's get started! First off, let's talk about what a subscription button is and why you should have one in your videos. But if you want to skip right to the tutorial, use the timecode. Below any YouTube video, you will see a subscribe button. If you click it, the channel will be added to your subscriptions list. Naturally, you need to be logged into YouTube for this to work. After you click subscribe, you can also hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever that channel releases a new video. To view your notifications list, click the bell icon in the upper right corner of the screen. By the way, do tell us in the comments which channels you are subscribed to. Let's share some recommendations. If you have your own YouTube channel, your top priority besides uploading interesting content is attracting an audience. Your audience equals your subscribers subscribers, the people who regularly watch your videos and like what you do. That's why you need to always encourage your viewers to subscribe to your channel. There is tons and tons of content on YouTube, and if a viewer isn't subscribed, they will probably forget about your channel over time, even if they liked it initially. An animated red button, a notification bell, and a finger clicking on them will serve as a good reminder for your viewers. And now I'll show you how to create just such an animation in Mavavi Video Editor Plus. Let's get to it! Fire up Mavavi Video Editor Plus. Add a video clip to the timeline. The easiest way is to use one of the built ones. It doesn't matter what kind of video it is, as it will be hidden anyway. Now let's access backgrounds and drag a simple black background onto an overlay track. We'll transform this background into our subscription button. First off, let's change the color. Select Tools – Color Adjustments. Choose Advanced and pick the following settings. Brightness – 66 Hue – 63 Tint minus 246. That's it! We have YouTube Signature Red. Double-click the background and select the Picture-in-Picture Picture option. Let's place the background in the center and adjust the background size to resemble a subscription button. Let's hide the main video track so that it doesn't interfere with our work. Now we're going to add animation to the button. In the tab titled More, choose Advanced Animation, then Add Animation. Two keyframe points will appear on the clip with the subscription button. The final keyframe point looks the way we need it to look. We can leave it alone. Let's work on the first keyframe point. Right-click it and choose Edit Keyframe. Let's move our red button below the preview screen and squeeze its edges in. Now let's reduce the distance between the two keyframe points to increase the speed at which the button appears. Now the button emerges smoothly from below, increasing in size. Let's add some text. Open the Titles tab and select Simple Text. Add it to the Titles track. Pick the font you like best and type the word Subscribe inside the title in capital letters. And adjust the size of the text so that it fits in the center of the button. We need the text to emerge on the button at the very last moment. So we'll place the title on the track right after the final keyframe point. The button's ready. Now all that's left is a finger to hit it and a notification bell, which will show up on the right side of the button. Wait, and where will I find the images of the finger and the bell, you might ask? Will I need to look for them on the internet? Calm down, I'll tell you. Our designer has already created all the materials you'll need. You can download the files by following the link in the description. And you can use them without any restriction. That's our little Christmas gift for you! Let's open up the link from the description to this video. We have five folders here, with five versions of icons of varying colors. Something for everyone's taste. Feel free to use the ones you like best in your videos. For our example, we're going to grab the contents of the first folder. Let's download it to the personal computer and unpack the archive. To make it easy for us, we'll transfer the entire folder into the media bin in Video Editor. This way, it'll be quicker to deal with. Let's drag the first icon with the hand from the media bin onto the timeline and place it on the overlay track, above the clip with the button. Double-click it on the timeline and select the Picture-in-Picture -picture Overlay method. Let's change the size of the icon, tilt it slightly and position it so that the finger is on the button. Let's add some animation as the finger appears. Select the clip on the timeline followed by Advanced Animation in the More section and hit Add Animation. Again, we need to just edit the first keyframe point. Right-click it, select Edit Keyframe and let's place the finger diagonally to the right and down from the screen. Now, let's move the keyframes at the beginning of the video clip with the finger and adjust the animation speed. 
Now we need the finger to hit the button. Let's cut off the part of the video clip with the hand and insert the second icon, the one with the bent finger from the media bin. Modify the size and tilt angle so that visually it all matches the first icon. The easiest approach is to lay the second icon over the first one for a little while and then put it back. Reduce the length of the video clip with the bent finger on the timeline. Copy the first video clip with the hand and insert it right after the video clip with the bent finger. Remove the first keyframe point from the copied video clip. Now the finger is hitting the button. The button is supposed to somehow respond to being clicked. Let's make it so that it gets lighter after clicking. Cut the video clip with the subscription button at the moment where the finger clicks the button. Select the second half of the clip and then go to More, Color Adjustments, Advanced, and set the values for Hue and Tint to 0 and Brightness to 200. Now the white text is gone. Let's make it gray. Cut the clip with the text, copy it and paste it on the timeline. Double-click it, click the bucket fill and change the text color to gray. Now we need to add the bell. Drag the first icon with the bell on our track and place it below the clip with the gray button. Double-click the clip with the bell and change the icon size so that the bell is the same height as the button. Place it to the right of the button. Let's make it so that the bell comes out from behind the button after clicking it. Add the advanced animation to the video clip with the bell and edit the first keyframe. Move the bell to the left so that it is behind the button and adjust the animation speed. The next step is to hit the bell. Let's add a new keyframe point to the last video clip with the hand. Edit the keyframe point and move the finger to the right, so that it is positioned over the bell. Copy the clip with the bent finger and change the position of the icon so that it overlaps the icon with the straightened finger. Copy the clip with the straightened finger and remove the first keyframe point. Great! We've figured out the clicking thing. Now we need to make the bell respond to this clicking. Drag the second icon with the bell from the media bin onto the timeline. Edit it so that the size matches the size of the bell, which we already have on the timeline. Let's apply advanced animation to the bell. Edit the second keyframe point by slightly tilting the bell to the right. Then copy and paste the first keyframe point to return the bell to a neutral position. Add one more keyframe point. This time, slightly tilt the bell to the left. Copy the first keyframe point again to return the bell to a neutral position. Repeat the whole thing one more time. Now the bell is swinging from side to side after clicking. Now let's remove the hand from the frame. It's done its job. Click the clip with the hand, add a keyframe point and move the hand diagonally away so that it's outside the screen frame. In the same way, let's remove the button with the title together with the bell of the screen. Add two keyframe points to each of the clips in turn. Edit the second keyframe point and drag the elements vertically down outside the screen. Adjust the animation speed so that the elements are synchronized in their movement. That's the end of the visual part. The final touch is the sound. Open up the media bin and find the audio track named Mouse Click. Add it to the timeline at the point where the finger hits the subscription button. Then do exactly the same thing with the bell sound. Drag the audio file bell from the media bin and place it at the corresponding point on the timeline. Done! We're almost there, all that's left is to save the result. To do this, we'll use a little trick. Select all the files on the timeline with the help of hotkeys Ctrl-A and copy them using Ctrl-C. Hit the Titles tab and follow the intro videos. Let's add any intro to the timeline. Click the pencil icon to proceed to the intro editing. Inside the template with our intro, remove all the files from the timeline and press Ctrl-V. Now our animated subscription button will be stored here. Make sure to hide the main track and click Apply and Return. 
click the floppy disk icon to save the template. Enter a name for your template and press OK. Now you will always be able to find this template in the intro videos section and easily add it to any of your videos. You can also add it and save changes to this template anytime you need. Now you know how to create your own subscription button. May the new year be filled with subscribers coming to your channel and signing up on mass. By the way, don't forget to click all the appropriate buttons below this video. It ain't gonna like itself, right? Well, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye!